Do you know what cough syrup does to blood sugar levels? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's find out. Now this cough syrup has yellow dye 6 which is actually banned in countries like Norway, Finland and Austria. Why? Because of potential health risks and allergens. And guess what? Companies use bright colors like these to sell more of their product because they know the brighter the color is, the more it will sell. And that's marketing psychology at work. It also has an ingredient called flavor. <laughs> what is that? How can a company just get away by calling it flavor? I think we deserve to know what that flavor is. And here's the sneaky part. There are ingredients like sorbitol, glycerine and glycol in here. And all of these have calories, but the companies don't tell us how many calories are in it. But they do do one good thing which is they use sucralose, which is a zero calorie sweetener rather than sugar. So I do support that. So let's see what 30 ml, which is the daily recommended amount, does to my blood sugar levels. It's very sweet. It's been a few hours. Let's take a look at the results. Okay, 11 mg spike, not bad. But if you're diabetic, this number could be much higher. And that's why we deserve to know how much sugar and calories are actually in this. Because if it is just a zero sweetener, this curve should have been flat, but it isn't. That means there are some active sugars in it. And remember that there are natural remedies better than these chemicals. For example, honey, lemon and ginger tea or turmeric milk, which help soothe your throat as well as reduce inflammation. And here's my request to pharmaceutical companies. Please remove yellow dye from these products. Please tell us what actually is flavors. And lastly, how many calories are actually in it that are causing the glucose spike.